Hello everyone and welcome back to the new episode of this channel. So today we are going to discuss about an e-excel which is developed by AVN. So as we all know that automotive industry is shifting towards a new kind of mobility which is known as electric or a hybrid. So e-excel plays a very important part and majority of OEM manufacturers are ditching their powertrains, conventional powertrains by 2025. Talking about all the big OEMs or all the big car manufacturers, they will be coming up with the hybrid or electric vehicle after 2025 in their portfolio. So for this, eXL is one of the most important things so that they can fulfill the requirement of the market. But the biggest problem with the eXL is that the market requirement or what the car manufacturer's requirement are different and what the supply is being done is different. So to cover up this gap, AVL has developed a new Excel which is going to revolutionize this eXL format in the automotive sector. So this eXL, uh, the eXL which has been developed by AVL is not only going to help passenger vehicles but it will also going to help the lower, you can say light motor vehicles. So these are these kind of segment of vehicle need to be targeted so that we can have a better market width and better uh, you can say mobility in the coming of future because for uh, traveling or for moving your goods or logistics in your cities we need a light motor vehicles and they also need to be a fully electric or a hybrid vehicle so to fulfill all these kind of requirements avl is developing this new excel so what is this new excel we are going to talk about in this video we will discuss all the aspect of this excel like what are the market requirements what are avl solutions what are the performance and uh, you can say efficiency of this eXL which has been developed by AVL. We will discuss about this e-motor, how it's different from the other eXL format and it's good from the predecessor model of AVL eXL in the market. Last one that we're going to discuss is the transmission change. So AVL has done a major, major change in the transmission. So they have basically redefined all the transmission aspect that we have in the eXL and they have basically revolutionized this. So stick to this video till the end, we will have the major concept of clearation of how EXL is going to work and how this new EXL from AVL is going to work. So talking about the requirement, due to the major market portion shifting towards SUV and LMV kind of vehicle, EXL also need to be make sure that they are fulfilling the requirements of what car manufacturers are requiring because they will be making models or vehicles according to the market trend and if you are making the legislation more strict and strict by the time going by, we need to make sure that SUV vehicles and LMV vehicles are under hybrid or electric segment. So making this electric vehicle, uh, SUV vehicle and LMV vehicle into hybrid and electric, AVL considered different requirements that are there from the OEM sites or you can say car manufacturer sites. First one, they need a cost efficient system. Second one, they requires a system which is robust. That's why layout, uh, layout shaft kind of design is required for LSUV and LMV. Third one is the smart actuator. Th second one is the new transmission because in passenger vehicles or if you're talking about sedan or a hatchback, we can work with the single speed transmission that will basically fulfill the requirement because load is not that much on the vehicle. But for LSUV, if you're talking about or LMB, if you're talking about, we need to have a better torque to speed ratio and we need to basically start with the higher torque so that we can basically pull the vehicle in the first run. So these kind of requirements was there and AVL took this kind of requirements very precisely while designing their new EXL from the predecessor model that they have already in the market. Now talking about the smart actuator shifting transmission and all, the solution that AVL come up with was far more better than what are the requirements of the market or what are the requirements of the car makers. Now we will talk about the solutions from the AVL. So talking about the solutions from the AVL side, they basically to they basically considered following numbers which are showing in your on your screen to develop this EXL. So first they are using 800 volt E drive system. So they are basically coming up with the high voltage system. The high voltage is basically uh, helping in reducing the weight of conducting material, and it will basically reduce the size of the system. Second one is the inverter with uh, silicon carbide technology, which is basically going to help in. Uh, improving the efficiency and it's going to run cooler for the heater temperature or in the longer run. Second one is the high speed e-motor as I told you because it's will going to help in minimizing or improving this torque as well as the speed that we require for this kind of SUV vehicle and LMB vehicle. Multi-plate clutch which will basically enable the compact sizing of the system as well as the high efficiency. 
second one is the electromechanical actuation system and it's a drum shift kind of system which is basically going to make sure that under load easy shift is possible last one is your mechanical parking lock for smart locking system and it will also going to reduce the cost as well as weight of the system and layout system so that it could be used with any kind of uh, you can say compact sizing or if you, it can be used with a robust uh, requirement also so these are basically what avl is trying to target so as i told you that avl is trying to reduce the weight as well as the cost but this is bringing a new drawback to the system which is the torque output to increase the torque output they are using a high power motor but when we are increasing in high power or speed of the motor we need to basically understand the effect of that process on transmission as well as on the inverter so to uh, to overcome this kind of challenge what avl is doing they are coming up with the two uh, gear ratios first and second gear ratio or you can say two kind of gear system first gear system and second one gear system so currently what we have in the automotive market is only single gear system so avl is developing the two gear system which is going to help in increasing the torque as well as increasing the speed because in the first gear we are going to get a higher torque and in the second gear we are going to get a higher speed so this in uh, this indulgence or the, the uh, you can say basically putting up an extra gear in the avl kit is going to help the avl but it's not that easy that you just put another gear into the system there need to be some modifications there need to be some changes so that it could basically fit into the system and does not basically make the system bulky and increase the weight that we are basically targeting on the first side of the system so talking about the efficiency and performance as we get to understand in the solution side that when we are talking about the solution the avl come up with the two things first one is they need to change up the motor second one is the transmission system so this two speed transmission system or two gear transmission system is going to help in compensating the high performance and high torque but it's not an easy part it's not like integrating a second gear into the single transmission what we have earlier from the avl side it's like they need to basically come up with the new solutions they need to make sure that efficiency that we are getting it the layout shaft balance all these kind of things are taken care and when we are basically simulating it into the computers and basically coming up with the required what we are getting what we required from the motors for the suv and lmv vehicle because if you are developing new kind of systems we need to go through all the process from the starting and these kind of system or these kind of designing and processing take times so talking about uh, what are the other solutions that avl could come up with so if you look at this chart they could basically come up with this same by reducing just the motor size and they could use the single speed transmission but the efficiency which was was not that up to the mark so that's why two speed transmission chart as i show you on the screen is getting up to 2 to 5% efficiency improved with the same driving performance so if i testing the single speed and the uh, two speed exl uh, we are getting about to 2 to 5% of an efficiency but it's not like efficiency only we need to take care of the other components as well and during the testing it was done on wltc and nedc which is your new driving european cycles so during this process they also need to take make sure that the shifting map and inverter they are not being basically affect with these kind of things and they need to basically integrate new kind of shifting map so that the transmission could work automatically and shift according to the requirement of the vehicle so these kind of things were taken care and i think 2 to 5% of efficiency by integrating a single you can say gear or another another second gear secondary gear could be a good advantage for the exl because higher torque is required and higher speed is also required for kind of vehicle that they are targeting with their exl but they can also use the same uh, system with the single gear for the other kind of vehicles if the oems or uh, car manufacturers requires the same system for the single gear kind of system so i think it's a best of both world now coming up with the second part of this uh, video we will discuss about the motor and how the shifting map or how the transmission is going to work in this exl so i hope you enjoyed this video till here and if you have any kind of question feedback feel free to comment down below if you want us to cover any kind of uh, special topics so please let us know and what do you think about these kind of topics that we should make more videos on these kind of topics and how we can improve these kind of topics in the future please let us know in the comment section below thank you for taking this video and have a good day